Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe because I make new videos every single Sunday. Today I'm going to be talking about how to deal with waiting. I actually did an Instagram poll on this a few months ago and a lot of you wanted me to make a video about this. And since I unfortunately have quite a bit of experience with waiting, I thought that I would make this video and give all of you some advice and talk about some things that have really helped me to be a little bit more patient in the past and in the present. If you follow me on social media or have watched some of my recent videos, you'll know that I've been waiting about five months to figure out what I'm allergic to and I only have a few days left of waiting. I'll hopefully be finding out on Thursday, but even though my wait is almost over, I still really want to know right now. And some of you might be in the same situation. Maybe you're waiting to turn 18. Maybe you're waiting to hear back from a college. Maybe you're waiting for Trump to not be president anymore. Hopefully you'll find this video helpful. My number one bit of advice for dealing with waiting is to just remember that time is on your side. As long as you stay alive, as long as you keep breathing, the thing that you're waiting for will probably happen. Something that really helped me with this is having countdown apps on my phone. I personally really like the app Day Count. I have countdown for my allergy clinic appointment, and I also still have some of my older countdowns that I used when I was younger. This is the one that I made for my 18th birthday. I think I made that countdown when I was 14 or 15, and I remember looking at it and thinking that it would be so long until I turned 18, but it's been more than a thousand days since I turned 18. So time is really on your side. Knowing the exact number of days might be a little bit discouraging for some people, but it was really helpful for me. The second tip that I have is to try to distract yourself by doing things that you enjoy. Three years ago when I was waiting to turn 18, I was starting to get really frustrated and impatient, but pretty much every day I would go to Barnes & Noble on Stevens Creek with my friend Anisha, and at that time we were working on starting a company called Hungry for Design, which some of you might remember if you've been following me for a while. So we'd sit there and work on plans for the company and just talk and read books. It's really helpful for me to just get out of my house and distract myself by hanging out with one of my friends, me, and working on our company, which doesn't exist anymore. Just because you're waiting for something doesn't mean that you have to be completely miserable all the time. You can find some good things in life and spend time with awesome people. My third tip, which is something that I used a lot when I was waiting for more long-term things like turning 18, was to have other things to look forward to before then. This just shows how much of a political and legal nerd I am. But I followed a lot of Supreme Court cases when I was younger and just waiting for all of the hearings to happen and the decisions and everything. It's really exciting for me. I kind of distracted myself from the main thing that I was waiting for by waiting for something else that didn't really have that much to do with me. If you're not into law or politics, maybe you can get excited about the Olympics or the World Cup or some other sporting event. I'm sorry, I've never really been into sports. I don't really follow sports at all, but that's a whole nother video. This tip is mostly helpful for situations where you're waiting a very long time for something, but I hope that it helps some of you out. My fourth tip is probably one of the most important tips, and that is to stay positive. I know that waiting can be really frustrating and it can be really easy to become kind of negative. I know that I've definitely come negative about waiting in the past. If you're waiting for something like your college admissions decision, you might be kind of scared about the outcome. So try to stay positive and remember that if you work hard, keep trying you'll probably get to where you want to be in the end. Those are all the tips that I can think of right now. If you have any other suggestions of your own, feel free to comment those down below. And if you ever need help with anything, feel free to DM or email me and I'll try my best to help you out. Before I end this video, I just want to say that I, I believe in every single person watching this and I know that someday you're going to get to where you want to be and the wait will eventually be over. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.